I'm your ghost of Christmas present. We're bringing back Christmas! Like a Christmas carol? On a bitter, cold Christmas Eve, one dark soul is selected for redemption by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and yet to come. A tradition that continues to this very night. Like a Christmas carol? Yes, yes, if you would just let me get this out, sit. So out of all the people on the planet, murderers, people who do gender reveal parties, I'm the guy you're gonna haunt. You know what, forget it. I told you, the guy is a level 20 pain in the dickens. Come on, I can take this guy. I'm your ghost of Christmas present. La 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 la, I'm not watching your dramatic re -encrapment. Hey, I'm haunting you. You can't just run away from me when I'm haunting you, hello? I believe he can be a positive force for mankind. And he's got his hands all over everything. Yeah, I wish. Maude, are you texting HR? No. People don't see. We got a runner! That's just fun to watch. I'm here to change him to being a more positive force for humanity. <laughs> Clint. <laughs> Clint. <laughs> yeah. Do you Photoshop yourself into these pictures of my executive VP? I don't think so. Oh, you want that. What I want is for you to shut up and let me do my job. Is there a ghost of Christmas, Grumpy? Because you could do that job. <laughs> This is where real change begins. Oh, oh, that's, oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, that... No, no, he's fine. He's good. Well, he's, well none of us real anyway. I know that change can be scary, but it can also be exciting. Let's start our new life. Nancy Edward! Robert! Ah. We bring love from Andalasia and off the belated birthday sheet. An Andalasian wishing wand. Does anyone in Andalasia ever just say stuff? Not if we can help it. This world feels very different. Is it sometimes easier? To live in Andalasia? Well, I wouldn't say easier. We have dragons and ogre rebellions. Last year, the entire kingdom was trapped in a giant whale. Oh. Um. This is not a magic land. It is a land far, far away from my friends. I'm so late. I'm a commuter now. You're riding this train over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And then you die. As you can see, Giselle, everyone has their place once you found where you fit. Monroeville can be whatever you wish. I wish for a fairy tale life. Remember, happily ever after, it's not always that easy. Ah! My hair is so high and my dress is so low. Jumping jelly sticks, we got magic? This town is turning into a fairy tale. But it's all gone terribly wrong. On the last stroke of midnight, nothing will be as it was before. <laughs> I'm not an evil cat. I'm not an evil cat. I'm not an evil cat. What is going on? You need to remember your place here. Stepmother, please. Giselle is under a curse. We have to stop this or everything Andalasian will die. There's no one wishing your wish now, Giselle. Come on. Time to be heroes. You know there's only room for one villain in this town. You're hilarious. <laughs> Delusional, but hilarious. I'm sorry. I think your things are in my seat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to sit somewhere else. We used to be married. Worst 19 years of my life. We were only married for five. I'm counting the recovery. In four days' time... Our daughter's gonna marry a guy she just met in Bali, millions of miles from home. I just really want to kiss you. It's like I looked up for the first time and realized everything I ever wanted was right in front of me. 
She's throwing her career away. Just like her mother did. So I'm the only one who can stop her. She doesn't listen to him. Oh, champagne. Oh, two, please. Just leave the bottle. Thank you. I won't let her throw her life away. We need to trick her into dumping him. As much as this will pain us both, we have to call a truce to make this work. Good being lockstep. Hey! Did you make a pact to not murder each other until you murder me first? We are here for you, my love. Yes, we're in lockstep. Yes. Promise. No mean comments. Pretty sure you don't win anything for eating the whole pig. No arguing. No, get off. Get off. No passive aggression. What about aggressive aggression? Try to keep the snoring down. I have a nasal strip. Ah. It's a mystery. You're still alone. Mom, Dad, this is G'day. I'm supposed to yes, do G'day. Hey. You learned that to make me look bad. You don't need my help there. <laughs> Are you sure they're not sharks? Come on, don't be a chicken. You might be working with the sharks. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Can't believe I got bit by a dolphin. When I do that? with you? He said pressure. He said not... torture. Ah. Pressure. So what's the plan? I say we steal the ring. How do they look? Disappointed. Do you think we're wrong? We're not wrong. Who are we to say that Lily doesn't know what's best for herself? Oh my god. I cannot believe you. What are you talking about? She found the rings. Where? In mom's bag. I knew it. What? You clean up pretty good. Here you go. It's not for the faint of heart. This is not his first rodeo. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Can we get something a little more age appropriate for these two? Here we go. Which okay. one? There's only one. I see two. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Dad, please stop doing that. Oh, my God. I'm praying for an asteroid. Honey, maybe we should just call it a night. You go ahead. I gotta finish these centerpieces and rearrange the seating chart. Yes. Hello? Mom, now is not the time. I just want to ask, is that genetics or is it like Pilates? We got you a gift. It's your something borrowed. Brings you good luck, except for Uncle Greg, who ended up decapitated on that forklift. But that's not the knives' fault. Uh -huh. Oh, someone just left that in the bathroom. You invited your ex? Looks like he's leading a porn safari. Oops, he forgot to button his shirt all the way up. Is it time for dinner? so much better than the rest of us. I think the left boob is slightly lower than the right boob. Something doesn't feel right. Once did I wonder if I'd be walking handcuffed through the jungle with a live grenade. Oh, sir, sir, give me the grenade, sir. I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. Okay. Are you dead? We're gonna fix this. That dress is growing on me. Wanted something less traditional. Nobody with my family. Don't you let like go! Je vous présente Jules César. Ça sent la victoire. Un parfum en particulier Ça sent le laurier. Coucou Jules On est plus sûr du sapin là. <rire> Elle aussi c'est une grosseuse. Non, c'est son garde du corps. Il s'appelle Tatana. C'est une belle femme. Moi, 
Moi, je pense qu'on est ce qu'on mange. Et ben moi, je pense pas, je mange Voilà, c'est un petit peu ça le problème, voilà Allez Faut pas pousser les gens comme ça, ça fait mal Pourquoi faut-il toujours qu'on vienne nous demander de l'aide à nous C'est même pas toi qui y seras allé, hein C'est Astérix et Obélix, comme d'habitude oh. Mais l'idée fixe, il voyage plus que toi oh. Attends, attends, ça, il est fixe Quoi le problème Moi je le reconnais plus. Qu'est-ce qui se passe ici Moi c'est à cause Regarde là, le... allez, on y va. Chargeur Oh Ouais Bien sûr. Allons-y, ah, princesse, c'est pas prudent de rester ici. Allons-y, princesse, c'est pas prudent de rester ici. Pas de soucis T'es encore sous l'effet de la potion ben, Je sais pas, essaye pour moi. Oh. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That couch just fluffed itself. Whose crib is this, man? Steve Jobs? Steve Jobs is dead, fool. I mean, his house died. Yeah. Dude got Miami shit, Cleveland shit, LA shit. Damn, pick a city, bro. Oh my God. We in LeBron's house. LeBron who? James! Hey there. Don't go! You are one handsome motherfucker. He got a hologram of himself just to give him compliments. You handled the decision to go to Miami perfectly. Nah. That's cat. <laughs> I need 10 G's by next week. I gotta pay for my daughter's school. Bro, they on vacation. How about we throw the party in the king's house? We gonna invite all the celebrities. We can make 10 times the money. We can send Destiny to preschool, college, whatever. Tonight is our last shot. Looks like we up out to the house. Hi, I see you there. How are you? It's a white man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! You're going to jail, Kim. Hi, I'm Peter. Is LeBron home? Um... By the way, Black Lives Matter. They do. I posted two squares on my Instagram. Respect. This is a really bad idea. I wouldn't do something like this unless I was desperate. What's good? What's your back, that ass? She cracking, bro. See how out of control this party is? Shit, we done fucked up the koala. You good? What the fuck just happened? Your hairline is perfect. Anyone who says otherwise is just jealous. <laughs> this guy. Dare let that little rat dog piss on my walkway again? Ignore him, Print. He has no idea who's doing that. Well, it was one of you. Get out of here. You cannot use this road without a permit. Have a nice day, sir. You know, the other guys don't do this. The guys with the white trucks. How come it's always you brown guys? And I don't mean that racially. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't get me here earlier. The whole neighborhood is falling apart these days. No, 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 stop! Oh my god. Give me the keys. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Otto. Otto? O T T O. I'm Abby. O T T O. <laughs> Got some new neighbors. Bye. Nedwood husband. I brought you some food. Okay. okay. Bye. Are you always this unfriendly? I am not unfriendly. Okay, you're not. Every word you say is like a warm cuddle. Can you please give me a ride? I don't have a license. You don't have a driver's license? How old are you? Punch in and brake. Brake, the car is stopped. Don't hit the car. Brake, brake. I almost hit the car. It's all right. It's a hybrid. Well, it's all right. How did you get in here? Let go! 
No, no, no. You are not taking over my bed. I was wondering if you could help us out. I'm not sure about this. It's gonna be very fun. How was it? You did a good job. You should pat yourself on the back. Well, it's alright. I have a cat. You think you have to do everything on your own? Guess what? No one can. A trick? Yeah. Can I borrow a coin? What did you do? Jerry, back to the corner. No, sir, no. It was all the clown's fault. Are you ready? What are we doing? We're gonna run for our lives. We're halfway home. Halfway. I'm Chicky Donahue, and I am not supposed to be in Vietnam. Hey, get your ass out of bed, you lazy bum. Look at you, sleeping your life away. Look at these scumbags. You're embarrassing yourself, and you're embarrassing your family. Do these protesters not know that our soldiers see that on TV? I'd like to go over to Vietnam, track down all the boys in the neighborhood, and give them a beer. I could do that. Do what? Bring him beer. He's not serious. He's hammered. Look at him. The man's stone sober. That's his fifth beer, maybe. Tops. I'm going to Vietnam, and I'm bringing a beer! Yeah! Hey, Chief, no chance you have a ship heading to Vietnam. 1,700 hours. Tonight? It's not going to be easy. But I'm going to show them that this country is still behind them. You're going to get yourself killed over there. It's like you said, everyone's doing something. I'm doing nothing. One morning, Smuggling one beer into a war zone? That's not the smartest thing I've ever heard of. Certainly not the worst either. A new day, a new way. What if you start up here with Collins? <laughs> Just came to deliver a Sudsy thank you card. And then, if you're still alive. You American? New York. Thanks a lot. You can hustle down to Dugan. Ta da! Chicky, I brought you beer. You shouldn't be here. You think this is funny? I'm not doing this for laughs. I'm doing it for all you guys. <laughs> Come on, time to go. Is it over? Yeah, you're dead. You don't get it, do you, chick? This isn't a John Wayne movie where you know the good guys are and you know the bad guys are. I didn't come all this way just to quit. Somebody's got to be here to see what's going on. I want the truth told for them. They're just kids. You're going to find out it's a lot harder to get out of a war than it is to get into one. I'm trying to show them that somebody back home is still behind them. You got a good heart, Chicky. It's your brains I'm worried about. Who's this hand job? It's my next door neighbor. He brought me a beer. Hi. Did my daughter Eloise come? She left a note for you. We can just read it ourselves. <clears throat> okay, you can do it. Dear Mum, Alison Paul, all I've ever wanted was to feel like a part of this family. I thought maybe my wedding would be a chance to reconnect. <gasps> no fighting! I see now that maybe we were never really connected. Wow. It's a real shame, isn't it? It's what you want, it's all the Oh my God, have you seen this invitation? Are you going to the wedding? Eloise is our half-sister, which means we can half-ass the relationship. My rich sister chose to stay in London and shove fish and chips up her butt. That's not how you eat them. This is nice. My company upgraded me? Very cool, country mouse. I figured that everyone in business class was going to be hot and mean like you. They got Paddington on this flight? Stink. My sister's the worst. Thank you for coming to England for my nuptials. She's like net porte and I'm like Nordstrom Rack. Alice, the wine is spilling. You bet it is, Mom. She sounds like a monster. So lovely having you all here. Only 72 hours until the big eye, too. <laughs> oh my god, Alice. I'm fine. I think I just had some bad chicken. Have me chicken. I was in your wet dream. It's wonderful being here with my children and all their friends. You know, he's not my friend. You know I support you. Excuse me, sir? Yes. He's my son. What's happening? And yeah. they do sex things. It's a okay with me, and I'm proud. I'm getting married, and it's not gonna be okay. 
from this moment forward, you will behave like a normal family <laughs> who is here to happily celebrate a loved one's wedding. Is that understood? She's even prettier when she's angry. Absolutely radiant. <laughs> Do you think this is funny? I do. You know how at every wedding there are those people everyone talk about after? Cousin Randy. Ew. We're those people this time. Oh, savage, Mom. of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? That one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! I'm Leo, you must be Nancy. May I come inside? Yes. So I've made a list of things that I'd like to get through. Number one, uh, I perform oral sex on you. Number two, you perform oral sex on me. Number three, we do a 69, if that's what it's still called. Um, four, me on top. Five, doggy style. That all sounds very achievable. Have I booked enough time? You, you want to do it all today? <laughs> yes, no. I've never had an orgasm. There are nuns out there with more sexual experience than me. It's embarrassing. Do you want me to brush my teeth? Oh, God. This is crazy. Nancy? It's terrible. It's wrong. Nancy? Yes? Come have a dance with me. I, I guess I'm frustrated. Is Leo Grand your real name? Thinking about all the places I should have been by now. No, I simply don't understand why you're doing this. This to save up for our college. Oh, how wonderful. Are you really? No. <laughs> I've always been ashamed of my body. Your body's beautiful. I wish you could see that. Everyone wants something different. I don't judge my clients, lest they're total assholes. <laughs> I've never done anything interesting in my life. You're the only adventure I've ever had. What's the oldest person you've ever done it with? 82. 82? Yes. 82? Nancy. OK, I'm feeling a bit better now. So, is this runway casting for a grumpy brand or a smiley brand? So it's a grumpy brand, yeah. Congratulations! Show me that Balenciaga look. Oh, Suddenly I'm dressed in something way less expensive. It's H&M! Yay! Balenciaga! And H&M! Balenciaga! 
You look paid for the tickets. Not bad, huh? <laughs> so what do you do? I sell shit. The success of a luxury cruise mainly depends on you. I don't want to hear anybody saying no. It's always yes, sir, yes, ma'am. I command you, enjoy the moment. No. No? No. <laughs> what? You say no to me? No, no. Oh, so it's yes? It's, yeah, no. Yes? Go oh, in! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> the sails. Do you think it's possible to wash them? I don't think that's possible, ma'am, because this is a motorized vessel. Yeah. So we don't have any sails. It was sails. Yes. Well then, in that case, we will clean the sails. Yes. Of course. Yes. To love. To love. A Russian capitalist. And an American <laughs> communist. On a $250 million luxury yacht. The ship is going under. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just love, but really bad. This is really, really bad. Middle child, two brothers, we're actually very close, but they live in different states. Only child. Childhood obsessions. Christmas, magic. I want you to hold me. My name is Michael. You're a great dancer. You're a terrible liar. And that's Kid. I've always imagined that my life was like a typical romantic comedy. You were so confident. I mean, you just ripped off your clothes like you're a stripper at a bachelorette party. And I basically shower with clothes on. <laughs> I'll just shut up now. Shall we go to your place tonight? Here's my door. Before we go in, just open the door. Okay. What is this, Michael? Oh, you don't want to... Oh my God, they're in here too. Oh, Papa. I think you're very cool, and I'm worried that you're going to break my heart. No, I'm bad. This is my friend, Mike. A friend? Yes, Mom. Just a friend. What is going on here? Who is this guy? He's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? I think he's a great kid. We may not look like it, but we are actually kind of hip. Oh, my God. We were going to go to Woodstock, you know. Slam? I am. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this beauty. All I want to be... Kid, what is going on? Are you all right? Calm down off the ledge, Mike. I'm seeing a doctor tomorrow. I'm afraid the news isn't good. I was always afraid Kit would break my heart, and eventually he did. He broke it open. I've only got You have to run the race in front of you because that's all there is. Looking back, this is less of a rom-com and more of a love story. He can't sit for four hours. We've been honest to bed. All the beds are occupied. Get my husband to bed! Well, that was Oscar worthy. Work for Shirley MacLaine. I'm sorry I never told you how good your ass looks in your khaki pants. <laughs> I was afraid if you understood how beautiful you are that you'd leave me. Thank you for inviting us. It was Kit's idea. I was vehemently opposed to it. And like all love stories, it never actually ends. Go say hello. Buy him a drink. Hi, I'm Sheila. Hi. Hi. I'm uh, I'm Gary. Can I get you? old fashioned? Old fashioned. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, mate. That was kind of weird. Oh, not really. I have got to come clean with you. I'm from the future. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. 
So how much do you use the tanning machine? Oh no, it's not a tan machine, it's a time machine. Try it, it's fun. I've spent the entire week with you, this night, seven times in a row. Wait, what'd you do with the other you from the past? But it's really cute. Okay. You ever had a night like this ever in your entire life? I just wanted to change a couple things to make you more perfect. This yeah. never happened with old Gary. If you erase the pain, you erase the person. What exactly did you change about me? I have this ability to take your pain away. It's not yours to take away, it, Sheila. It, it came from a good place, Gary. Yeah, so did gender reveal parties. Started as an accident, and I fell in love with you. And this time, I am going to make it work. A real Sophie's Choice kind of decision now, isn't it? I love it when you make that joke. What? What? You didn't want to go somewhere more meaningful? Like, I don't know, like to kill Hitler? Well, I did take out Smithson. Who? Exactly. Hi everyone, it's Bobby Lieber and welcome to your favorite podcast where I talk about whatever I feel like talking about. So these big movie producers came to me and said, we want you to write a rom-com about a gay couple. Something a straight guy might even like and watch with his girlfriend. Gay guys are my jam. Awesome. Something a straight guy might like? Am I gonna be in the middle of some high-speed chase then all of a sudden fall in love with Ice Cube? Am I gonna get butt-fucked by Jason Momoa while we're both worrying about a volcano? They said, we just want a movie that shows the world that gay relationships and straight relationships are the same. Love is love is love. And I said, love is love is love. No, it's not. That is bullshit. Our friendships are different. I have to go to a party and you're too old to be in the pool. Please leave. Our sex lives are different. Ass pick. Don't have ass pick. Must see pick of ass. <laughs> Took this just for you, bro. Did he block me? Our relationships are different. This is Bisexual Awareness Week, and no one has acknowledged it! Lesbian History Month was in March! Nobody said a goddamn thing! Of course! Lesbians get a month, and we get a week. I don't want any Hollywood bullshit. No scenes where two guys are about to hook up, and all of a sudden the camera conveniently pulls away. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna go. This is nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. It was lovely. My whole life, I prided myself on being self-reliant. What is going on with you? This motherfucker has gone into my head. What are you into? One of these fucking ripped idiots with no opinion? No, I'd like someone who's physically very frail and won't stop talking. Maybe you're both bottoms and that's the problem. Oh my god. Gay sex was more fun when straight people were uncomfortable with it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not the right person to write a rom-com anyway. Oh my god, do you guys remember straight people? Yeah, they had a nice run. You can't be here. It's me. Ma'am, I'm serious. Okay. One more move and you get an eyeful of pepper. It's me. always feeling like I was an older woman trapped in the body of a little girl. I wrote a book. Matt, if you're not getting paid for something, it's a hobby, and hobbies are disgusting. And I did my darndest to keep my inner old gal to myself. Huh. We. Ra. We. Yes. We. Yes. Yeah. I thought it would be super fun if we all lie down and did a past life regression. What? You should go do it. We'll just meet back up at the house. Welcome. Lay down, Moonshot, and think about who you want to be. I'm a seven-year-old woman trapped in the body of a 30-year-old who just needs a minute to rest! Oh! Oh my god! Somebody help me! This is not me! So, you were thinking about old lady stuff and uh -huh. then you turned into one. So he should be able to turn you back into you? Where did he go? We're never gonna find him. Matt. Coming, coming. Are you sick? You sound weird. Whoa. Oh, well, hello. I'm Max Aunt Rita. I'm hey. Jack. <laughs> I take care of cheese when Max's out of town. This is Max Aunt Rita. How often do you ladies meet for your wine club? Every day. Sometimes we spend the weekend. <laughs> How are 
supposed to grow old on the French Riviera if you're 50 years ahead of me? Matt, you are scheduled to cover the Pilates event post pictures. Post pictures. If people see you at a party, they can your butt. Ah, and let's reset. You know, these pocket computer photo albums are my job these days. I get paid to post pictures. What? Wow, looking good, Aunt Rita. Everything that's happening for you right now is because you're showing the world who you are. We're getting some interesting offers for Rita. Post more of my glammy Grammy. People are dying for her. Rita, you got a man. Well, this guy's young. He's young. Man, you didn't want to be old. What you wanted was to be you. Luca, I laid down in that pod, and when I came out, I was in this body. Okay, you're coming in with a lot of energy. <laughs> from Salem <gasps> forever. They were right to fear thee. Magic has a way of uniting. Happy 16th birthday, child. I have a gift for my favorite customers. Legend has it, it's on the 16th birthday that a witch gets her powers. Candle. We have to get out of here. The witch will be here any second. Ah! The, the book is alive. He woke up. <gasps> if we intend to live past sunrise, we have to steal their souls. Whoa, 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 wait. Can we talk about this? No. <laughs> we must fly. <laughs> Eventual maniac obsessed with getting revenge on Salem. So very bad for Salem. We should get some salt. Why? So it tastes better when they eat us? Right out. Six feet under. Stop! I am a good zombie. <gasps> oh. I blame bad luck for everything that's gone wrong in my life. You sure have bad luck, Sam Greenfield. Oh, take that universe. Oh, oh until found an actual lucky penny. <laughs> Something that could finally turn my life around. Yes, 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 yes! And what did I do? <gasps> I flushed it down the toilet. <gasps> you flushed my penny down the toilet! <gasps> you just talked. <gasps> Wait, I just need another penny. Whoa! Always with the obnoxiously long password. Ah! Ah! Humans cannot be here! Where's here? The land of luck. I'll leave as soon as you give me another lucky penny. You best start blending in. Hello. Ooh, ah! Mighty leprechaun Fräulein. Well done, nature. This is where good luck is born. A dragon? She's the only creature that can sniff out bad luck. There's bad luck here, too. Good luck on top, bad luck on the bottom. The tiniest amount of bad luck can shut down our entire operation. Mm -hmm. Just how unlucky are you? Ah! Oh! oh, no. Ah! Oh, super duper unlucky. You cause a disaster. Ah! The good luck connection has been severed. I do you and everyone to a life of bad luck. We need to fix this. What are you doing here? Good luck to us both. What about Jeff? Unstyle, yeah, style. Go, go down that 
I have no words. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're an ex-con. How are you an Avenger? That doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man. People still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quanta. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Turn it off. Now. Creek International Business Solutions, how can I help you? I am ready. Well, that's great, Ladybug. Ladybug? Your new operational name. Oh, I see what you're doing. Ladybug's supposed to be lucky. Ha. You don't have bad luck. Really? My bad luck is biblical. I'm not even trying to kill people and someone dies. Remember the suicidal bellboy? You drove him to the hospital. Hang in there, buddy! And he didn't die. Okay, the wedding. Tequila? Johannesburg. It's time for some change. You wanted simple for your first job back? It doesn't get simpler. We need to find a person who took that case. That's too easy. Shit. What? Remember those two wackos from the Bolivia job? The twins? Yeah, I'm not so sure they're twins. Get off the train. No! You stab me? <laughs> I never stop coming for you. What? Yeah! I missed my stop. Something else going on here. Hi. You don't remember me. You look like every white homeless man I've ever seen. Really? You don't remember me? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. He's a bag of dicks, lady. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm I'm working on it. Get off at the next stop. Sounds so easy when you say it. One little prick from this, you know what happens. Yes. Your blood congeals. I'll get your food. I oh, said okay. yes. Ah, shit balls. You're going to want to hear the whole story. What's waiting for us in Kyoto? The White Death with his army of assassins. There's this soulless psychotic leader with the largest criminal organization on the planet shoved right inside us. See the white death letting any of us off this train. We need to come up with a plan. I'm gonna hurt people. What's happening to your face? Maybe there was a little head trauma? Maybe. I, I gotta get off this train. Sorry, buddy. Exclusively in movie theaters. Oh, it's the day. day. It's funny, even though we haven't been together that long. I can't believe it's only been three months. Feels like forever. When you know, you know. Babe, from the moment that I saw your face looking up at me. Griffin, save it for the real proposal. 
The real proposal? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow night at our New Year's Eve party. Is this a joke? I think it's for the best. To dump me the night before my sister's wedding? What am I going to do? I can't just pick up some random guy off the street. I live here! I live here! <laughs> I live in Norwood, 15 Maple Drive. You're not in Norwood, you're in Westwood. What? This is crazy, but my sister is getting married and my ex was supposed to be my plus one and I can't show up without a date. I really can't. Of course. I mean, I sound psycho. No, no, not at all. Ah! Yes? I'd have to leave by eight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Clem. Where are you? I had to make a quick stop. It's almost nine. Time for pictures. Oh, I'll, I'll be right over there. Was that a bride? Your quick stop was at a wedding? Um... Kip, 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 I want to meet Mom. Kip. You're being crazy. That's him right there. Not much to look at, but seems nice. I want to hear how you two met. I guess you could say I caught her by surprise. It's been a non-stop adventure. It's an impressive speech. It was surprisingly effortless. Margo. Kip? Kip? I thought he was Kip. Well, don't look at me. I have no idea. But the new Kip is hot. <laughs> Not the cake. Did we mess up the cake? No, we're good. <laughs> You like him, so? He's proposing to someone else. He doesn't love me. If he's so in love with her, what's he doing at a wedding with you? Love is a I saw you, I felt something that I've never felt before. And I need to do the right thing. You know, when the universe gives you a gift, you don't just say no. Love is a risk. Call it fate, dumb luck, or chance. But I still get to choose. Science is closed. Let's break in. Wait, what I now? cannot show up without the veil. Are you crazy? I'm bringing a stranger to my sister's oh. wedding. Do I look like I make good decisions under pressure? Oh, life moves fast. One day you're playing kick the can with kids named Flick and Schwartz. I triple dog dare you. And the next thing you know, you're a certified adult. Ralph! Ralph, dear old man. Fragile. He was the best. Ralphie, promise me we're going to make this a wonderful Christmas. That would make your father so happy. I promise. What had I done? And now it was all up to me? I suggest you start drinking and don't stop till New Year's. Hey kids, who wants to go see Santa? This is amazing. Incredible. We will meet you right here when you're done. Don't let him kick you in the face. Huh? It's the half happy scene. No, uh, no, when it's just us decorating, it kind of feels like child labor. Honey, it's not labor if we don't pay you. Yeah. Cheers. There'll be much mistletoe. My dad made this all look so easy. Mm. That doesn't mean it was easy. Most wonderful time of the year. Schwartz, I triple dog dare you. Mm. Oh, I got it now. Get out of It's the most wonderful time. Slowly I could feel the Christmas ember beginning to glow again. Frank. Where are you right now? None of your business. Come on, Fletch. Aren't you bored? I need you for a story. I got that police report you wanted. I just emailed it to you. It's encrypted. Uh, what's the password? Go ask yourself. My father's paintings were stolen. The Picasso was appraised at $20 million. Well, it hardly seems worth stealing. You're not a detective. But I was an investigative reporter. It's an occupation that's been cheapened by the digital age, like precedent. Earl Maurice Fletcher. They caught me in the middle of a yawn. Can you imagine that? Who killed this young woman? I think the victim interrupted an art theft. Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon, and someone matching your description was seen with the victim. Come back with me to police headquarters. I get it. You want my help? Okay. Hey, guys, this is the way we can call in a coffee order. I'd kill for a macchiato. Not literally. I looked into your criminal record. 
Dan. You're a bit of a shady character, Mr. Fletcher. But I am adorable. If you did kill that girl, do the right thing and give me an exclusive. Let's talk about the suspects. Countess de Grazia married Papa for his money. Somehow she's involved. Flash, she's trying to seduce me. What the collection of impressionists you have here. Those are reproductions. That's how we introduce my children. Why did you lie to me? You're becoming paranoid. Maybe you should get that gun. That girl. Oh, okay. no, I didn't. Did you? What is this? Woodbird and Bernstein? Almost. This stupid idiot moron has something to do with this. You want me on the outside so I can solve this thing? Are you Fletcher? Yes, I am. Oh! I mean, no, I'm not. I always get that wrong. I don't know who people hate more. Cops are reporters. It's cops. The greatest love story ever told. Romeo. Sweet Juliet. Was missing a chapter. Mine. Son of a... No, get up, you lazy cow. I have cholera. You do not have cholera. You don't understand. They were. Being all gross, and he was saying things to her that he just said to me. Mm. Three days ago. Yes. Three, nurse. I got this feeling. So you're gonna break them up? Of course I am. Romeo and Juliet. It doesn't even sound right. You want my help with this? We just need to stop a wedding. My boyfriend is about to make the biggest mistake of his life. Hang on a second. It's your boyfriend's wedding. Ouch. Blow me. Rosalind, I met a boy. Let me guess. Romeo Montague, isn't it? How do you... Everybody knows Romeo Montague. But Juliet, why settle down with just one man when you can... Sample at the Buffet of Life. Who wants to buy us some drinks? All this time, you just wanted to steal my boyfriend. I was trying to steal him back. There's a difference. I just wonder if all this drama is adding to the attraction. I'm going to fake my own death. I'll drink this potion. I don't look like I'm dead. That is quite possibly the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Did you drink it already? Oh, Juliet! I'm an idiot. It's showtime! I don't deserve these powers, if I'm being honest. Like, what am I even contributing? Ow! There's already a superhero with a red suit with a lightning bolt on it. Aquaman is literally huge and he's so manly. And Batman is so cool. And I'm just me. Uh, <laughs> I feel like a fraud. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway, the wizard gave me superpowers. Yeah! Well, then everybody got superpowers. Where's everyone going? To fight crime. Okay. Now everyone's kind of like doing their own thing and I'm the only one trying to keep it together. You understand I'm a pediatrician, right? Come on! Now let's get down to business. business Listen to me, Billy. The fate of the world depends on it. The daughters of Atlas are coming for you. Children stole the power of all the gods. This is very personal, Billy. Look, I might not have as much experience as you because I'm not super old like you, <laughs> but I've seen all of the Fast and the Furious movies, lady. It's all about family! Family! Guys, that was a signal! Introducing the star of our show. His name is Shazam! Now let's get down to business. The world will not survive this. I don't know how we fight powers like this. You think I know how to fix this dude, but I really don't. Everyone can be worthy. Let's give it a chance. Now go fight for your family. Go fight for the world. I just threw a truck at a dragon. I love my life. Hey, did you get on a 
on dating up finally? Jesus, chill. Stop living in denial. Denial of what? Dick. You're living in dick denial. Alan and Nina broke up. And now they're over there trying to see who gets to stay a regular here. We have people write down challenges, and whoever wins gets to stay. I'm an attorney. I fight for a living. Bring it. This is going to be glorious! Human bowling. Nice choice. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get! You need to kill anyone? She's like a Mary Poppins from hell. Toss it back. Oh, yeah, trust me, I was in a sorority. I put things in my skirt all the time. Danny. Yeah. I had a chance to read that article you sent me. What do you think? You don't feel like it comes off a little tone deaf, offensive even. I don't feel like you take me seriously as a writer. That's because you're not a writer. You're a photo editor. Okay. Have you ever wanted to be noticed so badly? Hey, Mom. You wanna hang out tonight? Oh. You didn't even care what it was for. Colin! Oh, shit. What up, honey? Danny, from work. Danny. Yo, Colin! I love your videos, man. Thanks, B. So, what are you? I'm a writer. I'm looking to develop my work by traveling. <clears throat> Going to Paris for it. Shit. Hey, get picks. I'm gonna get lots of picks. Yeah, I'll throw them all up on the gram. Right. Shit. Hey, Mom! I got invited to a writer's retreat in Paris. Yes, really. Starting my morning right. Now, where's my baguette? Have some breaking news at this hour. A string of terrorist attacks struck Paris this morning, leaving dozens dead and many more injured. Oh, fuck. Flight 2677 now arriving. Danny? Danny? She's okay! We are here with the girl of the moment. You've been blowing up our Insta feed. Speaking of bombings. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Ha. Isn't she so strong, everybody? Oh my god, you're the girl from the Paris attacks. Let's not forget the signature red beret. Hi, I'm Danny. Rowan, welcome to group. We're all survivors here. Do you want to share? Oh. <laughs> you're not okay, that's okay. The internet likes to turn victims into villains. Oh no, doesn't seem to be happening to me. You should be prepared if it does. We need to talk. Be careful what you fucking wish for. So what, are we supposed to feel bad for you? <clears throat> Victim's name is Leo Kopernik, sir. Seems he was killed in the costume store. And then he was deposited here. Staged, so to speak. Sorry, sir. How much longer do you intend to hold us all hostage? Or is that the idea? Gather all the suspects and interrogate each of us in turn until the mystery is solved? Marvin Cochranar is overweighted playwright. Celebrated playwright? Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I can't read my own handwriting. There was an incident. <laughs> I'll kill you. <gasps> it's as good as a confession. It's not jump to conclusions, constable. What do we have here? <laughs> Working late, huh? He killed Kopernik to hush up the affair. Case closed. I'm doing it again, aren't you, sir? Jumping to conclusions. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. You've never heard of Richard Attenborough. A real life detective. I understand that you came to blows the night in question. It was me, Inspector. I arrest you for the murder of Leo no, Cochran. No, no, We have a serial killer on the loose. Please, stand back! He keeps the key! Ah! Under the mat. We are no longer merely suspects. We are also... potential victims. Oh, 
So what did he do that made you suspicious? It wasn't so much what he did, it was more the way he did it. How did he do it? Sort of suspiciously. Right. We are gonna have the most peaceful Christmas this year. Who is this? We need to call an emergency sisters meeting. What has the Christmas family done now? It's Dad. He's disappeared. Dad has made several payments from a hotel in Nevis in the Caribbean. I've booked tickets for the three of us. We're going to the Caribbean this afternoon. What? You might want to start packing. Flight leaves at four. Don't tell my heart, my head is breaking hard. I just don't break it on the spot. Mr. James Charisma! What the shit was that? Can't a man disappear without being hunted down by his nosy daughters? I am here to rescue you, Daddy. I want you to go back to your families. Aren't you just a little bit happy to see us, Dad? I am staying here. I think Dad is having a massive emotional reaction. Well, 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 James. Aren't you full of surprises? Another wonderful day. The three of us have to do everything we possibly can, and we have to convince him to come back to England with us. You three look like you're up to no good. No! What are these? Called a killer bee. You gotta be careful, they're dangerous and addictive. Yeah, we're gonna need some more killer bees. Joanna! No. Morning! I hate you. Family need to stick together. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. So I feel a lot of change coming on, James. Dad wants to have fun. He should have fun. Who are you and what have you done with Joanna? Would you mind repeating that, please? Hey! It's like paradise. This very moment, I am on a Caribbean island with three of my magnificent four daughters, and I couldn't be happier. I just want to clarify some things before we, before we get started. Every woman is not built for the great responsibility of being a first lady. Pastor Lee Curtis Childs faces allegations of misconduct. His mega church may never be the same. Lee Curtis and I, we're going to get to the other side. Here you go. Yeah, with the big old microphone. Come in closer, son. You're going to see what all the fuss is about. Showtime. What's up? Fresh is our turn, baby. Lee Curtis is a talent, a star. Oh, boy. Uh, we can edit around that, right? This is going to chronicle the ultimate comeback. I'm Rocky up in this fight. <clears throat> Rocky didn't win. But he did win in Rocky too. Lord, baby, how many times I got to tell you get past the first movie? That was all set up. He is just so wrong. <laughs> he needs someone to harness it all. <laughs> Don't bless your heart. I'm sure plenty of the old congregation will come right on back through good old ones of the greater path door. <laughs> <laughs> you have a blessed one. Oh my goodness, and you have a blessed. I'm a sinner, but I'm no criminal. We need you back in that pulpit so you can get me back on that stage. You ain't really getting that many babes, baby. Shake it for the Lord. All those folks out there who are going to see this, I want them to know that I did what I was supposed to do. I just don't see how that's possible. Uh, all things are possible with God. That's, oh, that's God. Matthew 19, 26. Yes, it is. So that's good. You can cut. In theaters and streaming only on Peacock September 2nd. Sophie? You're not here yet. Fathers play a big role in their daughter's life. It's a special bond that only they share. Hello! And even when she's all grown up, she's still daddy's little girl.
lockdown. I have something to say. I'm engaged. Wow. <laughs> And I propose. Wow. You propose? Okay. You propose? Yes. You propose to him. Mm -hmm. He didn't propose to you. Mm -mm. Can you do that? Does anyone do that? You both have been coming here for over a year. Do you still want this marriage to work or not? I'm here. No. We're supposed to play the perfect family until Sophie gets married. Or well, we can say, sorry to spoil your happiness, but we're getting a divorce. Muscle tough. Mommy, Papi, this is Aaron Castillo. We don't want some big fancy wedding, and we want to pay for it. Two lawyers are out of college working for a nonprofit. They're gonna pay for the wedding. Billy, Papi. I'm the father of the bride, and I would be paying for the wedding, and I'm gonna be walking my daughter down the aisle. The wedding planner see you in 20 minutes. Wedding planner. Love Amelia. So what are we thinking about theme? Theme. We don't want a Catholic wedding. What are you talking about? Who's going to officiate then? My guide, Monica, from the Zen Center, New York. So a yoga class is set up a wedding. Hey, caramba. This is my father for the wedding. Oh, my God. How rich is this guy? We're going to have some champagne and come aboard. What is he, a Bond villain? We should go over the ground rules. Can we all dance? We can. Can we dance? If necessary. How about a kiss? Absolutely not. Daddy, what is the budget that we're working with? How about that? Yes. I really like him. He's nothing like us. Maybe that's the point. You don't watch sports? No. You play sports? I like hiking. Things have been coming at me very fast. It's time for me to embrace the future. I got your back. Showtime, baby. Now we dance. Happy. Ready? Yes. And you? No. You're my only daughter. If I say that you should be married, then married you should be. Where is the Lady Catherine? I've come here to propose marriage. The man who's come and asked for me by name. You cannot mean our Lady Catherine. Oh, She's a vile creature. Some say she has a third ear. She does. Have you seen this third ear? I've seen it. Where? Back of her neck. Is it functional? Spare. Spare. I'm not interested in meeting him nor any man with his intentions. See a friend. Would I choose to die rather than be forced to marry? I do not think either option appealing or fair. I cheer for you, birdie. I fear for you. I am, thank the Lord, very cunning. Most girls are, though we're not giving due credit for it. I do think she's come down with something. She's got a little, little, um, little, little, little bit of... I think there's a little bit of pox going around the, yeah, the village. Pox. 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 Oh. No, I mean, it's yeah. not around the village. Oh, we best no, you don't need to go. It's not a big pox. It's a small it's pox. It's not a small pox. It's not a big pox. It's only a small little pox. You'd like to go anyway, your father, isn't it? When are horribly duplicitous creatures? Oh, my God. Make it stop. I can't control it. <laughs> it's close to my face. <laughs> you have wings. You must learn how to harness them. You don't get to decide who we are, where we go, or how much we cost. Like, we're just things. We're not things. We're people. And we can think, and we can hear, and we can feel. But we are here. Yeah. I wish I could help every girl in the world. Knowing your own story will be your salvation. But for now, I am enough. Son, can't catch my breath, man. Really? Should I try mouth stuff? What is this? A Tinder date? Get off of me! Uh, oh shit! Mr. Dante, I need an ambulance at the quick stop. Save my life, man. Wish I had a life worth saving. What are you talking about? Just sit around and watch the same movies over and over. I always thought you could have made a cool movie. You're right. I'm living on borrowed time. No more watching movies. I'm gonna make a movie. What's the movie going to be about? It's about him working here. Meta. Everything in this script is something either me or someone I know said. I'm not even supposed to be here today. 
Maybe Jay and Silent Bob could be characters. Jay and Silent Bob are like C-3PO and R2-D2. They've been here since the first movie, which was the last time they were cool. But they've been with the franchise so long, they still give them cameos and put them on the lunchboxes. Snoochie Booches! Please tell me why! They believe in you. You should put in that stuff you used to say about the Death Star contractors. Get sued by Disney? No way. off your pants uh what the hell is this i added a scene where you get shot i'm not letting you kill me off in the third act what if there's a sequel a sequel what am i a hack i think it needs more weed okay time to go you can't leave me and Roger alone together for a whole weekend. Don't forget to unload the dishwasher. I can teach you lots of things, little brother. I call it my Roderick rules. Don't you mean Roderick's rules? Roderick rule number one, no apostrophes or any other nerd stuff. We are loaded diaper! One, two, three, four! You got the right What's rule number two? You only get one rule a week. That's Roger rule number two. That's not fair. Rule number three, life's not fair. And now you made me break rule number two. <sighs> Roger's been taking me under his wing, been teaching me a bunch of stuff. What kind of stuff? <laughs> <laughs> You've got potential, little bro. We're gonna have our battles. Ah! Give me that! But when the chips are down, don't let him get away! I'm gonna have your back, and you better have mine. <laughs> Come on, Roderick! You look like you wet yourself. It's nasty. Cause we are. Roderick rule number 10 always go out in a blaze of glory. Susan! Ah! Oh, I, see, I can't unsee that. <laughs> Our father is dead. His last wish was that his sons attend his funeral. We don't have to go. He's dead. He'll never know. You're a very tender man, you know that? Okay, your father's last will. It was his wish that you dig his grave. What? The old man was always screwing with us. But forgiveness is good. I want to show you the casket that your father pre-selected. The cheapest man who ever lived. Hi. How did you know our father? We were lovers for a while. What was he like as a father? The worst. Like a weight on my chest. Forgiveness is good. Hi, guys. This is my son, Simon, Raymond, and Ray. Your brothers. Hello. Hey. We come from chaos. Our father was a monster, and we repeat, we repeat. We don't have to. Growing up, my brother and I, we were connected to him. And then, just being near each other is a reminder of all that pain. I want to know what it feels like letting it go. But I'm scared it's going to crush me. Come with me. Okay. But it's going to take a whole lot more than a hole in the ground to get the old man out of your head. Call him Sonny Larry. Didn't you? And he used to be the best of friends. We're still the best of friends. No, you're not. Who says we're not? Sit somewhere else. Now, if I've done something to you, just tell me what I've done to you. Well, you didn't do anything to me. I just don't like you no more. You liked me yesterday. 
Why does he not want to be friends with you no more? Why is he 12? What the hell's going on with you and me feckin' brother? He's dull, Siobhan. But he's always been dull. The other night, two hours, you spent talking to me about the things you found in your little donkey shite that day. Well, it wasn't me little donkey shite, it was me pony shite, which shows how much you were listening. If you don't stop talking to me... Colm! And if you don't stop bothering me, I have a set of shears at home. And each time you bother me from this day on, I'll take those shears and I'll take one of my fingers off with them. And I'll give that finger to you until I have no fingers left. Does this make things clearer to you? Not really, no. Starting from now. But shush like, Polly. You know, shush like. Yeah, I'd shush like. Would you not want him to have to do the one finger to see if he was bluffing like? No, we wouldn't. Because worse goes to worse, you can still play the fiddle with four fingers, I bet you. Going back to your own gang now, Polly. I'm talking to me! Are you? Why aren't you talking to Polly no more? That wouldn't be a sin now, would it, Fanny? No, but it's not very nice either, is it? Do you know who we remember for how nice they was in the 17th century? Who? Absolutely no one. Yet we all remember the music at the time. Everyone to a man knows Mozart's name. I don't, so there goes that theory. We won't call it quits. We call it the start. Egypt, a land of mystery, intrigue, and rich history. A doorway of sorts to afterlife. A world of mummies under the earth. A royal wedding ring. It's the man. The man who took the ring. The only way to get it back is to go to the world of the living. Whoa! Great! What an adventure! It's beautiful! Oh, oh, look! We can use a human chariot! Mm. Come on! Yeah.